Hi, I'm Dr. Siltakwa from Radiant Medical Aesthetics. Today we'll be speaking a bit more about one of our treatments here for skin lifting, the thread lift. The thread lift is a non-invasive treatment which involves inserting threads under the skin to lift and reposition fat. There are a few different types of thread lifts we use. One of them is the Silhouette Soft Thread Lift. The Silhouette Soft Thread consists of a thread housed by a double needle. The thread is made out of poly l lactic acid or PLLA. And along the main thread, you can see that there are some cones on it, four on each side. The other type of thread that is commonly used is the PDO thread or the Korean thread. The PDO thread, in contrast to the Silhouette Soft, is a single cannula. So the thread is, is housed in one single blunt needle and once inserted into the skin, we do not have to exit the skin again. The PDO thread is blue in colour and along the length, there are tiny barbs. There are some big differences in how the th different threads lifts are done. During a single procedure, usually more than one silhouette soft threads are inserted so that there is maximal hold in the skin. When inserted correctly, the procedure is very fast and there should be minimal complications and problems like dimpling. Once the threads are inserted, you can see that it's firmly embedded into the skin. Pulling on one end will not allow me to pull it out of the skin. The cones make sure that the threads sit very securely and they will not migrate later on. After insertion, We compress the skin in this way and because the cones have hooked onto the skin and fat, we are able to reposition fat and lift skin. In the way here that you see on this piece of cloth, where the skin actually dimples up in the middle. In the same process as in human skin, the skin lifts and repositions the way that your doctor will adjust it. In contrast to the Silhouette Soft Thread Lift, the PDO Thread Lift is often inserted in another way. Because there are no double needles, all we have to do is to insert the thread. We have to create first an insertion point. From that insertion point, the thread is inserted directly into the skin in this manner. Once the cannula is removed, the thread remains inside. Very often from a single point, we can insert multiple threads so as to have a better lift. And because there are barbs in the thread, it stays and anchors the skin. Very often, four to eight threads are needed per side. And as you can see, the skin is lifted and tightened manually after the procedure. So how do we choose the different type of thread lifts to use? It all depends on the skin type and what we're trying to achieve. As you can see from just now, Silhouette Soft compresses the skin towards the center, while the PDO thread pulls the skin towards one side. So we are all different and you have to have a conversation with your doctor to decide which is the best for you. 
In some circumstances, your doctor may use a combination of both threads as well. It all depends on your lifestyle, what we're trying to achieve, and your medical needs. You see fantastic results of thread lifts on social media such as Instagram. Unfortunately, a lot of these are not true. Very often, these before-afters are taken right after the procedure and it is not reflective of the final result of a thread lift. A thread lift gives only a mild to moderate lift and cannot replace a surgical facelift. There are other alternatives to threads for lifting the skin. Energy-based devices such as Alpira are an excellent choice for lifting the skin as well. Also, very often, thread lifts are used in combination with fillers for a more holistic combination therapy. The fillers help to plump up the skin while the threads help to lift and reposition sagging skin and fat. Okay.